Okay, start recording. Hello, me, Cranky Rabbit. Um, I don't know if you can hear me. I'll just bring the mic up a bit closer. Anyway, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to put my headphones on. It's time for a listening party. Um, I'm going to listen to three of what I would describe as my successes and try and learn from them. Um, namely, the first three tracks from the Body to Soul album that I'm working on and have been working on for years now. So I've got a visualization on so that we've got something to listen to. I mean, watch while we're listening with, listening with Cranky. Anyway, so I've actually been having some problems with this, but uh, we'll do it in installments. Here's what I've done for the first track anyway that I, that I can remember saying, yep, that's it, that's pretty damn good. Sure, what I'm doing with the uh, bass drum here. Well, I mean the kick. Banging on the big bass drum. Boom. second okay when I bounced this out I was dead certain that everything lined up everything was working fine I'm not sure what's happened since I re-imported it um, I've actually upgraded in this week to Ableton Live 11 standard so that's going to give me a bit more wiggle room if I need extra tracks such as I've come up with a lead line but it doesn't seem to be working what happens if I split it into two split it into not Try, trying to make it one, which is what I'm doing here in this uh, version of uh, We Belong. That's going to be the final... Uh, no, wait. We Belong, that's... Uh, I think that's... Uh, Sheena Easton track? I can't remember now. Something very 80s. I think this is called I Belong. I'm going to call it I Belong. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, but I might split that into two separate... Synth lines. I think I've actually already done that, but I might do it again, because I can now. I'm not limited to eight tracks like I was with Live 10 Lite. That's actually been a bit of a choke point. At first I thought, you know, if I do this with Lo-Fi House, that's fine. You know, eight track Dance Maniac or something. But I don't think that's going to really fly very well. But I can still use uh, Live Lite, Live 10 Lite for uh, splurging or something because the less options you have, the faster you can make stuff. Right, okay, so it's, con but I've already worked out two things that can be done with I belong to try and push it further into dung draft territory. Okay. In spite of town, you see all these faces looking at you now, right? Okay, just remembered something else. Um, 
going fast, slow. That's supposed to be noise, because that actually works as far as I'm concerned. You know, uh, we've got these fast sections, we've got these slow sections, particularly when uh, singing away, which actually works well with the theme of the song. You knew, you've come to a new place, you're feeling a bit out of sorts, and then the music picks you up and uh, you finally feel, that you feel, I finally feel like I belong here. I wish I did that more often. Um, Anyway, onwards and downwards. But it feels all right. and now it feels like Whoops. Now, just to point out something about that uh, ridiculous lead melody. The way I designed that was that I had my four starting notes, which were C, G, D, and uh, C an octave above. So I had these fixed points, and I put them on a MIDI track, and then effectively drew a line, a wonky line, uh, between them, and then moved it around until it sounded good. Which is, act which is actually something that uh, is worth trying. If you're trying to figure out a bass line or a melody or a progression or something like that, pick a, pick a start point, you pick an end point, and then you draw some kind of uh, wiggly-woggly line between them and see how it sounds. Or if you're splurging, don't see, don't see how it sounds. Hear how it sounds? Whatever. Yeah, I'm definitely going to change this. Yeah, the Afrobeat percussion, it sounded alright when I first did it, and now it's sounding completely out of sync. Probably too much. Okay, um, just had a thought there. Let's go let's pop this back up again. Um, I just had a thought. The way I produced this, I was thinking in terms of DJ edits where it's nice to have 
a fairly long intro and outro that you can simply, um, so you've got plenty of uh, wiggle room to crossfade in or out. Um, also, you might be wondering about that odd double beat. I've just remembered, uh, this track is codenamed Body, and Body, of course, Body, Heartbeat, that sort of thing. What, why do you miss when, you, when my baby kisses me? Okay, um... Now we had a fifth idea, five. Extra. I can't tell if she's singing, feel like I'm getting strong or getting stronger. Not sure. So I've just come up with, um, well, I like the fast and slow sections, obviously. Um, but I've come up with four things that I can do to this track. So this is definitely drafted, but it's got a way to go. I think that's it. Um, anyway, on to the next one. Next one, it's time for some, time for some steaming goon step. Uh, where's fast forward? Here we go. Now we're jumping in with a bit of speed. Okay, now where did this idea come from? It came from, I was looking at Boney, Boney. Um, what does it make me think of? Boney, Boney. Oh, right. Six Charlies in Search of an Author. That's where the uh, goon samples come from. And somebody gave me a kit of a whole pile of cartoon sound samples, you know, talking about Warner Brothers cartoon sort of things. I think I actually have a uh, one of Mel Blanc's Yosemite Sam screams in there somewhere. Not, don't know what uh, happened to poor old Sam, but it was obviously painful. Um, so this is actually sounding pretty good. I like that TB303, which I was out of the uh, acid, acid for Mars sample pack, and modular sense for Mars, so all those modular loops. It's actually sounding pretty good. So I'm going to go back to body. I'm going to... Uh, make a suggestion. I just can't stand it when I speak Taiwanese. Um, okay, so we've got those. Got an idea here at last. No, Afrobeat percussion is not working now? No, it isn't. Try something else. Else, in this case, we'll do a... Whoops, that's not... That's not regular. Now it's regular. Regular expressions. Total geek. Okay, okay, now, we got that. Where do we go next with this thing? If I ever do uh, videos for these, for this album, I'll probably just, uh, probably just record a whole lot of uh, gubbins from um, Milk Drop. Leave it there. Oh. 
bonk, bonk di, bonk di, bonk di, bonk, bonk di, bonk. Specialist. What do you want? Bones. I haven't got any bones. Nonsense, nonsense, you fall down without them. Boink. Now the toms are going completely mad in the uh, background there. Midis here that I've just dropped in more, more or less wholesale. And, and it works because I like this uh, goofy shuffle that's going on in the background. I did do a crash out, but I just had a thought at the end. Um, find the episode in which um, Minnie and Henry are doing whatever unsound things that they do when uh, old Uncle Oscar emerges, probably from his grave, I don't know. And um, at some point, disintegrates completely. And I'm not sure if it... Or was it just his, all his teeth fell, fell out and uh, Henry says, More dinner for us, men. Or something like that, I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. But um, I'll have a bit of a look around for that. So that's more of an optional extra. But already, what have I got? I've got uh, step one. Um, step one. Rem step one here. Re remember the TB303. That's for massive from Mars. And the VCO loops modulator synths from Mars. So I've got that. The vocals sound a bit too echoey, so I'm thinking two things. 
reduce the reverb or echo or whatever that bloody hell effects I've got on there and bring them forward so that people can hear them. They are the flavor. They are the, they are the sprinkles on the ramen noodles of the song. And also, I've got this uh, build-up from the cartoon sounds of this, this clattery sound, almost like a skeleton running upstairs. And it's supposed to pop. And so I've got to make that pop. I'm going to have to record that uh, separately. Um, very definitely. And to say, for the end, possibly crash out an old Uncle Oscar disintegrating completely, but I can't remember which show that was. Anyway, what was the... That's Boney. Boney... I can only think of two things to do to it, as opposed to body, which has a lot of things that I could do to it. Well, how many did I say? Uh, swap out the Afro beat for modular synths. Uh, lead, split again, so that the synth line becomes two synth lines. One of them sounding sort of brass synth or mellotron, I don't know. Go. And extra oomph on the vocals, especially getting stronger. I don't know if I put any... Um, effects on the vocals, so I'm going to have to have a look at that. So that's, what is it? That's one, two, and three. Uh, number four is just um, a bit of extra faff, I don't know. Anyway, wait, onwards and downwards. The last one is supposed to be Bond, I think. Hmm, fuzzy drums. I'm going to have to check whether or not that is, in fact, Bond might be bend. Oh, I like this. I've got to look back in the project and find out they are so good. I love what I've done with the drums. They sound really neat, but I don't know what I've done with the drums. I'm going to have to open up this far, this uh, this project again and find out what the hell I did because I love the sounds in this track. What did I do to the drums? What effects did I put on them? They sound all fuzzy and snazzy and kind of cool. Um, what is that bass? I think it is a custom instrument I made uh, that, I that is basically a sine wave in a simpler pushed through a tube screamer amplifier plugin. I think there might be something else to it. I don't know. I'm going to have to find out. There are other synths in there that sound so damn good. I've got to find them. I've got to open it up. I've got to find them. I've got to write them down and put them perhaps into. Um, could I use them in. Could, he, could, could I use them? in body to give it a bit of extra oomph. Could I use them in bony? 
I don't know. I'm going to have to remember this. Write them down, which I haven't been doing. Bloody egg. Bloody egg. I love it. But also, I just want to check something. Let me get my phone. Here it is. Phone. You can't see it because it's in a square in the corner. Okay, so. This is Bond, then it's... C... C... G, G, D. Whereas if it was bend, it would be... C... D... G... D. Maybe this is bend, I'm not sure. Because talking about knees or having blue bottle... Talking about knees... Wait a second. Hold it. I've just had an idea. Oh yes, blue, you naughty boy, blue bottle. So I'm going to find that sample and put it in. I think we can. That'll vary things from uh, from blue bottle getting terribly excited about all them statues of nudists what he passed at the art gallery. And if you're wondering which uh, one that's from, that is, and I've completely forgotten now, because uh, it actually it comes from. Not the six fingers of Lidenhall Street. It's the one in which um, Niddy Seagoon is a rock and roll saxophonist who wants to be discovered. So Grip Pipe and Moriarty convince him that what they'll do is they'll be what he needs to do in order to be discovered is be buried at Stonehenge. And so he's dug up, but people think that he's that's it, the plasticine man. Now I remember, but I'm not sure which one is uh, nature is preparing me for marriage. But uh, we'll worry about that later. Lots of time stretched there. Got an idea. Compressor on this, I need to check my what I know about compression. Thank you. 
Slowly petering out, eventually. And there it goes. Oh, it's still going. That's an echoey though. Okay, um... Okay, goodies, that's enough. Enough is enough is enough. So, stop that. I say, stop that. Okay, so... What I said about knees, well obviously I was screaming before, these sounds so, sound so good and so 80s and so old school, they're wonderful stuff. stuff. Um, so that's more of a research project, open up the file, what are they? Write them down, or better still, get those instruments and all those presets, whatever, and save them out as presets so that the next time I do a um, next time I open a set I can just pull them in no trouble at all as opposed to just faffing around the vocals are again too echoey but I think that's uh, probably an artifact of using um, an outdated version of Ableton I don't know um, but one vocal that I've come up with, Nature is Preparing Me for Marriage. I'll look it up uh, after I finish this. You don't really want to watch me groveling around in Google search and thegoonshow.net to find that particular one. I've got it on. I've got it on uh, my hard drives, drive somewhere. I can't remember which one it is. He was so proud of growing hairs on his little legs. Um, what about his big ones? But, <laughs> but, no, and of course, the... Uh, Tubed sign. I'm dead certain it's that tube sign instrument rack that I created. If I can uh, double the tracks, then I'm going to have one sort of stage left and one sort of stage right, and just have them boom, boom, boom in both your ears. Extra bassy. Or I could put wide stereo on if I just wanted to cheat like that. But the fifth thing is me being. <coughs> Excuse me. Is me getting worried. Is this bond or bend? It sounds almost like about to bend. What did I do for Bond? Because Bond, I think, was Big Night. And Big Night, I remember raving about because we need to do vocals for it, hopefully without anybody interrupting because they hear me uh, making a lot of noise and trying to find out what's going on. But anyway, um, I think that's enough for a bit of a listening party tonight party today. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to go to... Can I switch? No, I can't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off now because um, it's about... Good Lord. 12.30. Just about time for lunch and it's time for I put the washing out before doing anything else. Okay. I wouldn't say you've exactly been in the studio with Cranky Rabbit, but you're hearing me try and do something that I haven't done before. Learn from my successes. Okay, cheers.